Good evening everyone. Today of course we will fight against Adma's character of our world around us and we will again visit the very broad world of the military history and again we will welcome the very interesting period of military history of Greek speaking people. But today we will talk about Eastern Roman Empire also known since 1557 as Byzantine Empire. This is the name under which this state is commonly known from the first name of the city that was preceding its capital Constantinople. The name of the city that was preceding Constantinople was Byzantium, of course, and the name Byzantine, Byzantium, Byzantine Empire was derived from it by the 16th century German scholar. Okay, so today the uh, work I would like to uh, talk about and encourage you to read is the work by American historian Byzantinist Warren Treadgold uh, entitled Byzantium and its army 284 AD to 1081 AD so till the moment when the uh, Komnen dynasty uh, start started losing influences in the great territories of Anatolia the, that were also uh, very much uh, populated and the uh, administrative very efficient system of recruitment and uh, keeping uh, the military units in their very good shape was working till that time so the uh, period of the history of Byzantine army that it's covered in this book uh, actually lasted from the 3rd century AD till the end of 11th century AD, so very long period, but the author almost made a miracle because he described the way how the Byzantine, Eastern Roman actually, army was evolving, uh, how the recruitment uh, model was changing, how the ethnic uh, cross-section of the, I would say, better composition of the army was also changing, how different nations were Hellenized and they decided like many Armenians or Georgians to uh, they decided to choose being Romans and serve in the Roman army many of them like uh, Basil the uh, first through the army became Roman emperors and started their great dynasties like Macedonian dynasty in Byzantine Empire and everything is nicely described also author tries to estimate on the basis of available historical sources the level of uh, the soldiers salaries the money they were uh, getting for their service and on the basis of sparks historical data using uh, some rational approach to the problem and statistical method he tries to present us also the size of the population of the state in different historical period and the size of the male population that could have been been mobilized those times these are very valuable estimations and very valuable research also author is not afraid of uh, of undertaking a lot of polemics with his colleagues investigating the same area of historical research and criticizing them openly with professional arguments this i really appreciate and mr wallen Tridgold, despite uh, besides being a byzantinist i should say he is also a conservative thinker and recently he wrote a nice book criticizing the modern academia, mainly Northern American system, and he will also propose the solution of modern problems within the book The University We Need. I also encourage you to read. But this uh, movie is dedicated to his book Byzantine and its Army, and the only uh, point uh, about this book I need to emphasize, uh, that I need to mention at the end, is that this book is not Mm, very good for the layman in Byzantine history because very often one needs to know Byzantine history quite well to be uh, to guess to which events or to which social processes author is referring to in some parts of the book. That's why for uh, the people who are more beginners in this uh, fascinating topic like Byzantine military history, I would recommend some companions to read like. Uh, history of Byzantine State by Ostrogorsky so, or some books by John Haldon like Byzantine Wars uh, to accompany the reading of the book by Mr. Treadgold about Byzantium and its army. 
this is all what I wanted to tell you. Very good book on military history. Also describes how the administration of the army was working, how the units were constructed and how uh, the army was used and saved many times the Eastern Roman Empire from ultimate fall within the described period of history that lasted from 3rd century AD till, till 11th century uh, AD. All the best. Have a nice evening. Bye.